Hello and welcome to the fourth video in this view application series. So in this video then we're actually going to start using Beautify and put a little bit of styling onto our web page. The web page is here on the screen. It's a little bit different to the last one, the last video. Why? Because I've actually cleaned everything out. You can see the HTML here. There's nothing in it apart from the pre tag, which was the empty brackets we saw on the main page. I've got the title here. And then inside scripts, I've stripped down the object to have an empty data part. So the view application, uh, just the element attached and then the data empty here. And that's all we have. So we have a blank website. So in this um, video, then we're going to start using Beautify. Now, just to give a little bit of an idea of what that is, uh, you may be familiar with Angular 1. Uh, um, if you're interested in using it, I will be doing a series on Angular 1. Even though it's no longer supported, I think it's probably the best framework for getting started um, just to be able to do some simple things for your own use or something like this, uh, maybe at work, looking at some data, like an advanced Excel or something. Angular is really, really easy to use and great. I'll be doing an app series on that. And Angular comes with Angular Material as a whole um, framework or well, a whole suite of uh, material component framework for using with Angular. Um, it's uh, material.angularjs.org. Uh, There's now another one for Angular 2. And down the left hand side, if I click on button in demos, you can see the buttons that come available pre styled for you to use in your app. And you'll see, particularly if you're used to using Android or Google products, you'll notice already how familiar the styling actually is clicking through these demos. Well, the good news is when using Vue is that Vue comes with Beautify, which essentially does exactly the same thing and looks remarkably similar to the uh, material uh, component framework from Google for Angular. And you can go to beautifyjs.com and find out all about it. And really, I'm really impressed with the documentation. There's a huge, huge amount of stuff already on here telling you exactly how to use it with loads of examples. It's been really, really well done. To get to the documentation, just click on the documentation button. And that brings you straight away to the quick start screen. And that's what we're going to be using to get started quickly. Take note of this alert in red here about the vApp component, um, because that's something that's often missed and causes missed and causes problems. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to basically take this HTML script as it is here and copy the bits we need and get going with using Beautify. So I'm going to take in the header these three links here and just copy and paste these straight into my HTML below my um, player uh, viewer title here and things aren't lining up very well. Ah, well, too late. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is there's a script here that's included below the inclusion of the actual view framework. Now, of course, we could have downloaded, I could have downloaded all of these and saved them already into files. You're welcome to do this on your site. I'm going to be a little bit lazy this time and just go via, directly via the internet. I'm going to drop that script in underneath my uh, view.js uh, view framework, sorry, a bit above my scripts.js. So now I've got everything I need to start actually using Beautify. I just need to do a couple of things in the markup to make sure everything's okay. So what I'm going to do is here we can see that the app in this example here is attached to the div with an ID app. And here we can see we've got our V app, which we need to say this is where the app is to uh, use our Beautify stuff. We've got our content and then we've got a container which works a lot like the bootstrap container with hello world inside. So I'm just going to copy that HTML and I'm going to drop that HTML directly above the pre tag there, save, and then just go back into my app, uh, refresh, empty the cache, and hope I have a hello world, and I do, so that's good, I'm good to go. And the first thing I'm gonna do now is delete this uh, hello world, because I don't need it anymore. So I'd like to do something a little bit more interesting. We're gonna add some buttons onto the uh, site, so I've just clicked on the menu and then down the left hand side gone to components. I'm going to go to buttons and inside buttons we've got some raised buttons here. I'd like these three raised light like, theme buttons on here so I'm going to click on the view source icon, have a look at the source code and it doesn't take very long to see that we've got a layout here which we'll use a bit later on, a card and then here we've got our V button so our button uh, elements here. So let's just take these three divs then shall we? with our buttons inside, go back into our HTML and inside our container, let's drop our buttons inside here. The only other thing I am going to do, there was a, a, a layout element I noticed there, um, somewhere in here. We're going to take this element with row and wrap, except we're not going to wrap. Um, 
I'm going to drop that just in here and take out the wrap. But just close off uh, that element here to say that we want everything to be in a row, otherwise they'll appear in a column. And you have really have to spend a lot of time digging around into the layout documentation on the site to get around exactly the, the fine bits of what does what, because it can get quite complicated. But if I just refresh now, and I've got my three buttons directly copied and nicely, most importantly of all, nicely styled for me to use directly from the Viewtify uh, library, component library. Really, really nice and above all, extremely simple. Go in, find the code, copy it and paste it and you're good to go. So let's just to finish off, do something mildly interesting. Let's go to the alerts in the components and this green one's quite nice here. I'm going to uh, take this success alert here and then go back into my HTML. And I also want to show this success alert. So I'm going to drop my alert in here. I'm going to put this in its own container as well, but separately from the uh, stuff that was above like so. And then I'll just go back and refresh my page. And now we can see I've got my green success alert. And what I'd like to do is if I click primary, I'd like this to appear. And if I click error, I'd like this to disappear just to have something a little bit more interactive and, uh, and something to do. So to do this, then I'm going to add one thing into my data. I'm going to add show alert and I'm going to set that equal to false to start with. And I'm sure you can imagine based on the previous videos what we're going to do here. In the case of primary, I'm just going to make an expression saying uh, V on uh, click. And then that expression's equal to, and I'm going to uh, set show alert equal to um, true. And then exactly the opposite, of course, then for clicking the error button. Where I'm going to say that uh, show alert should be equal to false. And then the last thing I want to do is I'm going to put a V show on the alert here. So V dash show is equal to, and then just put the show alert there like so. And what that should do then that should show and hide my alert then as I need. And I'm sorry that the HTML is a little bit disorganized. I hate that with a passion, but never mind. Okay. So let's just save that, then go back to our site. So I click now and I've got, this is a success alert. I hide it with the error, show it with a primary, hide it with the error. So that's all working and interactive. And that's it then for this video. Um, that was relatively quick, but you can see uh, how easy it is now to actually get going with Viewtify and start using all of the nice uh, components that come available, free to use um, with Viewtify for our application. So thanks very much for watching this video. Any questions or comments or anything that's not clear, please ask me in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in the next one.